Hello everyone, Paul, the virtual investor here. And today I'm gonna to go over a question that somebody uh, raised to me, should I buy foreclosures? If you're asking me, of course you should buy foreclosures. This is no brainer. I mean, for 20 years of my investing career, 90 plus percent of the properties I purchased have been foreclosures. And the reason I recommend buying foreclosures is because generally one, they're, they're um, listed below market value. So it's a property you're going to get generally below market value, even in a red hot market like it is now, you're going to get it generally under value. And the reason you're going to get under value is because it needs work. So you're going to be able to force appreciation through your own work. You're generally going to get a little bit better of a deal. You're, you're going to have less competition too, because there's a lot of stigma with buying a foreclosure. A lot of people do not want to buy and move into a foreclosure. Some people see it as maybe possibly a bad luck purchase, right? It's property went into foreclosure, maybe there's something bad with it. I don't want any part of that. So you reduce a lot of the um, competition by buying foreclosures and generally you're going to get a deal. Um, and if you want to do it as a long-term buy and hold, for, uh, REOs, foreclosures are definitely great properties to get. There's no doubt about it. I highly recommend it. Like I said, even in this market, you're still going to find very good deals out there. I'm still buying foreclosures. I've been buying them since this pandemic happened, plenty of them also buying from wholesalers as well, but uh, we're still buying for large part bank owned REOs, foreclosures and foreclosures. That question was kind of like open-ended because that can mean different things in different states. You know, people buying at the at the uh, steps of the uh, courthouse, right? The courthouse steps. You know, a lot of people do that. Sheriff sales. We don't do any of that. And the reason we don't do that is because you're going to have potentially a lot of other liens on that property. Generally, they're going to be at least a good percentage of them are going to be occupied. Some of them may be vacant. They may be a train wreck. A lot of bank REOs are train wrecks as well, though. Uh, so something you got to weigh hand in hand. But there's. I don't like the risk of a long-term lien coming back to bite me. That's why I like buying bank REOs because you're going to get them lien free. They're going through title. you got title insurance on it. So should something uh, come about, which I've had happen a couple of times, usually on small dollar amounts, um, it comes through for me and I'm covered on it. Definitely highly recommend buying um, foreclosures, bank REOs, something I will always do, will be, always be the largest holding, I'm sure, for myself. It's been for 20 years of my career. I'm sure it's going to continue moving forward, even with this moratorium on foreclosures. Again, it's not that there's no foreclosures going on. The moratorium only counts towards uh, government-backed loans, right? Whether it's Fannie Freddie or whether it's a HUD property or a VA property. There's still so many other conventional. I mean, the majority of mortgages out there probably still fall into conventional at this point that are being done. Definitely look to buy bank REO properties. Look to buy foreclosures. We can help train you if you don't know how to do that. Feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to bring you through our educational platform. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.